two dogs with me at the moment, so if I am talking through the video and you can hear some click clacking in the background, that's what that is. <laughs> So I wanted to share with you guys a little bit of a Sephora haul because recently um, Sephora had a VIB sale. So I went ahead and bought a few things just to plug some gaps in my makeup routine. I today want to go through with you guys just a standard makeup day for me because um, a lot of you guys have actually started commenting on, on my videos as well as direct messaging me, you know, how much you guys are loving the way that I do my makeup. I'm not going to babble on too long. I want to make this video nice and short and sweet. So I'm going to get started. So I have already unboxed um, these items and that's because I actually ran out um, of one of them in particular and that would be my SK2 Patera Essence from um, SK2. <laughs> uh, so this one is a brand new bottle and if you watched my last week's video or actually a couple weeks ago I did a product empties and I talked about how I had finished this and needed to replace it. So that's my first item. If you didn't watch my product empties, I do suggest that you go and do that because I go through um, the texture, the detail, and how much I do like this product. So spoiler alert, I do recommend that you go and buy this. But for more information, go check out that video. All right guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my daily face um, makeup routine. I've already done my skincare, so I've prepped everything. But there is one product that I have recently purchased um, that I'm going to be using as kind of like a quasi primer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys my daily makeup routine, which is a very short routine. Um, I do this for work. I do this for, um, you know, just like casual events and whatnot. As I, as I go through my makeup routine and there are new products for me to use and try on, I will let you guys know. And the first one is the Old Henriksen Strength Trainer Peptide um, Boost Moisturizer. This is what it looks like, just a nice little jar. You get two fluid ounces, I believe. Uh, 50 ml, so 1.7 fluid ounces. Smells amazing. It's like a lip balm. So it's like hard when it's in the jar. It actually comes out like a little bit of grease, kind of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply this to my face. So first impressions, like I said, like I suspected before, um, it is a bit greasy. It feels a bit greasy on the face. It's kind of like Vaseline in a way. All right guys, so that's my face, all moisturized. Now, under normal circumstances, um, I would actually be doing my morning skincare, which is actually like moisturizer and then sunscreen. And then I use my primer, which is usually the Bobbi Brown um, face base. For this one though, um, let's just pretend that my Bobbi Brown face base is the Ole Henriksen moisturizer. So that's my primer. Now from there, what I do is I will wet my beauty blender and I will then um, get my foundation. So what I like to use is my Dior Forever Skin and I have the shade 2N but sometimes my skin tone fluctuates sometimes like this is like too light the summer months and stuff and so you know I can't have too pale skin um, and so what I do is I like to mix it with um, my NARS creamy natural radiant long wear foundation and this is in the shade Barcelona so it is um, a little bit darker but it is slightly darker and so what I do after I shake it because I always shake my foundation before using it I like to do one pump of the Dior in the lighter shade and then one pump in the darker shade of the NARS foundation so that way the light and the dark creates this like perfect medium I get my spatula and then I just mix it. So then, whatever's on my spatula, I pop onto my beauty blender, and then I will grab some product. There's still a little bit left, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that there, and I will then use whatever's left on my hand to pull the makeup onto my neck so that it is one even 
the shade. Um, dab some on my ears as well because a lot of people forget their ears and forget the back of the neck here. Also just really gently dab your eyes as well to kind of create a bit of a eyeshadow primer. Done! Foundation! So, some of you might be seeing that there is some discoloration popping through, some scarring. Now, both of these foundations, both the Dior and the NARS, is buildable coverage. But keep in mind that this is my kind of daily skincare routine. And so I actually like the light to medium coverage. I don't want full coverage because then it just looks like stage makeup. The next product that I'm going to be putting on my face is a concealer. I am using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So you take the wand out, whatever, like whatever concealer you want to use. You could be using maybe the Tarte Shape Tape. Whatever you want to use, take the wand out. There's going to be a lot of product on the wand on the um, on the doe foot applicator. So actually, what you want to do is you want to just wipe that product out, so you have very minimal product. Or what I like to do is swipe from the inner corner across, just so that you can cover up any eye packs that you might have. And then, if you have any problem areas, you just grab a little bit of the product that you have wiped off. And you can just kind of spot conceal, but notice that it's not like I'm not packing it on, I'm not completely covering it because, like I said, having slight discoloration, some slight imperfections. Humans are imperfect, so you having slight imperfections actually makes your makeup look perfect. And just like that, uh, my foundation, my concealer is on. So now I'm going to just really quickly set it with some powder. Um, so what I like to do is I use um, Laura Mercier Translucent Setup Setting Powder. It's a classic, everybody has this. You kind of just take your beauty blender. What I like to do is just take the product off the lid and you just dab it into your face to really kind of set the makeup. Now, if you have certain problem areas like myself right now with eczema, avoid putting powder products on top of those problem areas. Because what it's gonna do is it's going to, um, if you have any kind of texture on your skin, like for me right now, my eczema patch looks like lizard skin, like it's dry. And so if I put powder on it, it's just going to highlight that texture and that's not what you want. So now my skin is set with the foundation and concealer. My next step is usually now to apply my contour. So with my contour, I actually have a new product um, that I would like to unbox at this point, And that is my Patrick Ta Contour Brush. I'm so excited. The packaging on Patrick Ta is amazing. Look at that beautiful like gold foil um, box. Oh my gosh, you guys. And then, ooh, this is the brush. Oh, yeah, I have read so many reviews of this um, and everyone absolutely raves about it. So I'm very, very excited to try this out. So for the contour, what I'm gonna use is my little trusty palette from Tarte. It is the Tartist Pro Glow To Go. <laughs> Tartist Pro Glow To Go. The inside, so you have a bronzing slash contouring shade, and then you have a gold highlight, and then a silver highlight. So let's try this brush. Tap that out. Now, let's see how this applies. It is really like sticking to the contours of my face so well. Oh my gosh, wow. That perfect, I mean, I'm not sure if you guys can see this on the screen, but it is just giving me that sharp, high cheekbone look. I love this brush. It's just giving me all the right pigment in all the right areas. That's pretty much done. Normally, glam days for glam makeup, like a special event, 
I would like also contour the nose, I would sharpen my jaw slightly more, I would go in a little bit heavier on here. Just again going back to this is just my daily makeup, I just spend 30 seconds just doing this and that's all you really need. I absolutely love this guys. It's so actually, I will do my contour and then my bronzer because if you do contour, highlighter, then bronzer, what you end up doing is when you pop on your bronzer, you actually go over your highlight and then that'll darken your highlighters. Powder brush, so this is the Hourglass powder brush um, number one, I believe, yes. Swirl it in my bronzer. This bronzer is the Chanel bronzer. It is from their Le Beiges collection. It's the Healthy Glow Luminous Color in the medium deep. That's what it looks like, that's the packaging. And that is, yeah, like I'm touching pan on this one. So you can see I use this a lot. So bronzer, you wanna do um, where the sun, when you're facing the sun, where it hits the face. So it's gonna hit the face on your forehead, just on the top bit of your cheeks. So this is what I mean. So when you use a big powder brush to put your bronzer on, and it's gonna go over, because your highlight sits right here, it's gonna go over your highlight. Your bronzer is gonna make your gold or silver highlight look bronze, which is obviously not what you want. Like you want that. that. Now, going back to my Tarte Pro Glow. So I just pick up, this one I'm going to go with gold because I kind of like the gold. I've just popped the highlighter on one side and I'm going to just position it on the side with the highlighter and I'm going to just pop that. I'm also going to take just a tiny bit, pop that on my nose. Oh, I'm so happy with this. All right. So that's contour, bronzer, highlighter. We are now going to do eyes. Oh, actually, before we do eyes, I should do blush. I do like to do eyes at last. So speaking of blush, there is another item from the sale that I got, which is the Natasha Denona um, highlighting or bloom highlighting blush. And you get this gorgeous color. So it is a slightly darker pink. I'm not sure if you guys can see, it does have little, it's like a shimmer to it. So I'm going to take my powder brush. So I'm going to swipe just a little bit of the blush. Wow, there is so much blush that is picked up. But the fallout, not much. So let's see how it applies on my skin. So a lot of people will like to smile when they apply their blush so that they can see the apples of their cheeks. But what happens is when you don't smile, it falls. So then your blush is like down here when it should be up here. So when I apply blush, I don't smile. I do smile to check that I've put it in the correct place. So now my face has a really nice glow to it. Ooh, I love this. Okay, so first impressions of the Natasha Denona blush, really, really nice. It is definitely a highlighting blush, so it's not just pink, it's like, it's like, it's almost as shimmery as my actual highlighter, which is actually quite nice because it means it picks up the light really, really well, and it has a pinky glow to it, so it gives my face a lot of dimension and a lot of health and a flush of color, so I really like that, guys. So, now that everything on the face is done, we have done um, foundation, concealer, setting powder, we have done contour, highlighter, blush, and bronzer, it is now time to do the eyes. I have a NARS palette. Um, one of my friends got me this actually. It is the Copper Voyager eyeshadow palette. Now inside, it has everything you need for a quick done and done. It has six shades and it's got light, light, medium and dark. And it has both the matte shade and the metallic glittery shade. So this is really, really easy because all you need to do is you can get one brush, start, from the light to the medium to the dark. So you take the light, pop that onto your lid, across your whole lid, and that acts as your base. Then you 
go into the medium shade. That acts as your transition shade, so you just pop it on the crease. So you guys can see that there is dimension in my eyes already, which is amazing. Then you go into the dark shade and you just pop it onto one side of the brush and then just pop it onto the corner of your eye. Now, from here, so you just want to blend it out. Windscreen wiper motions. So for like a quick daily routine, this is perfect because all you really need is one palette. There you go. So it gives me dimension, it gives me, you know, depth, it gives me width as well because I've pulled the eyeshadow out a little bit so it makes my eyes slightly bigger. So that's pretty much like a daily kind of eyeshadow look. Um, and of course, I didn't use any of the metallic shades. So if you wanted to, you can give yourself a little bit of glamour and take, if you're using the NARS palette, take the corresponding dark shade in the metallic and just kind of pat that on. Ooh, I like that. All right, so that's my eyeshadow done. I do have another product that I need before I finish my eyes. So for me, I don't put fake lashes on. I don't like mascara. What I do do, however, is I do eyeliner to make myself, to make my eyes um, look bigger to give myself more shape. So, the eyeliner that I've got is another Patrick Tarte product and it is the Major Dimension Eyeliner in the black shade. So once again, beautiful packaging, really nice kind of gold pen. Like their packaging is amazing and it's in the black. I'm gonna try this on for you guys and let you know how I go. This applies so easily, wow. I love this, how amazing that applied. I have never had eyeliner be this easy before. Oh, I love this eyeliner, okay. So that is the eyeliner which I love. Okay, so that's one thing. Now, so last product is I'm gonna finish my lips. Now, normally I would just use a lip balm, but the last item in my Sephora haul is another Patrick Tarte product, which is the Major Deadline, Major Headline um, Precision Lip Crayon, which is just like a lip liner. This is the shade, that's why she's late. All right, so that is what the, um, what it looks like and the shape is it's like a slanted bit of a square on the end um okay so this is a lip liner like i said like five times um but i'm going to be using it as basically my whole kind of lip because this is a new product and i really want to give this a try wow this is applying really smoothly What an odd experience. So this feels like a crayon, but when you put it on, it's a cream. This is amazing, you guys. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> this is um, probably my next, my newest favorite product. Whoa. Um, so this is how it applies. Oh my God, you guys. Like I, I can't believe it. It just looks so good. Um, so this is, the shade, that's why she's late. And it's, it's amazing. Amazing, it is looking so good, both my lips and my eyes, my face. So this is my daily makeup. Like I do this every single day. Quick overview before we finish off. So the haul today was my peptide moisturizer as a primer, but in a normal circumstance, I actually don't use this as a primer. I use my vitamin rich vitamin and rich face base, which is from Bobbi Brown. Um, my skin, however, is feeling very, very hydrated. So I do like it. The contour brush, incredible, highly recommend. I love the contour brush. It just 
gives my face exactly the depth of color that it needs. It looks very natural. It just looks like when I'm here, it just looks like my face is a lot sharper. My cheekbones are higher. So I really like the contour brush. It works really well. The Natasha Denona um, blush as well looks amazing. You can see this incredible light pink that's being picked up on the screen. Um, and then also uh, the eyeliner, again, I love. I'm so happy because none of these products, these new products have been a fail so far. Really, really good. First impressions, absolutely incredible. I love every single one of these products and the lip crayon as well. So all in all, this is about maybe a 15 to 20 minute makeup routine. It's actually really quick. Anyway, so this is my everyday makeup routine and also my Sephora haul <laughs> from the recent VIB sale. So thank you guys so much. Hopefully I have helped some of you um, with a daily makeup routine, um, maybe help you speed things along a little bit quicker. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I've helped you guys and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.